When someone has issues or comes up to talk to you about their feelings, it can sometimes be difficult to navigate the conversation and show proper support. For example, many people try to cheer people up by using statements like, oh, focus on the positive things, or it's better to get over it. However, this is often not very encouraging and can be harmful. Or in many cases, people try to fix someone's issues by offering advice. At times, someone just wants to be heard and needs someone to listen. Today on 60 Seconds with Dr. May, I'll be providing some tips on how to validate someone's feelings properly. What to do and, of course, what not to do. Here are the things you should do what to do number one listen when someone is hurting listen to them properly when they come to you listen to understand their point of pain as against listening to um, to respond to them number two body language show support and that you are present through body language hold their hands if okay Nonverbal communication shows in your body language. Number three, empathize. Tell them you can imagine what they are going through. Help them to understand their feelings, normalize their reactions and emotions. You may not necessarily understand exactly what they are going through, but you can envisage what they may be going through. Number four, validate properly. Avoid toxic positivity or statement that try to minimize their hurting. For example, you're talking to a man, be a man, you're a man, men don't cry. Those are not encouraging words. Now, let's go to what not to do. We we'll continue with number five. We had one, two, three, four on what to do. So, number five, under what not to do. Avoid blame. Blaming someone for their hurt can harm them. Examples, using statements like, don't dwell on it, let it go, it's all in the past. No. Number six, stop fixing. I need to repeat this. Stop fixing. Don't provide advice if not ask for. Sometimes people just want to be heard. Don't fix what is not broken. People want you to just listen, not necessarily providing some, you know, your own side of the story. And please, let's normalize not saying our own story when someone comes to us with their own situation. Till next time on 60 Seconds with Dr. May, do have a healthier, happier, and wealthier life.